Hello friends, my name is Ritu Sachdev. Today here in this tutorial, I am going to focus light on creating some colorful and beautiful tables and panels in Bootstrap. Before we start, let me preview up the things we are going to learn in this tutorial. See here, I have a tables. The first table is a stripe table. Every alternate row is having some different color and when I will hover on each and every row, it changes its colors. And these tables are wrapped inside a div panel. And the second table is having different colors in each and every row, which are pre-inbuilt classes in bootstrap. When I hover on it, it also changes its color. So, let's get started. Here I have already opened up Adobe Dreamware CS6 and the document. Very quickly, let me link up the CDN files for the Bootstrap, which you can easily get from the official website of Bootstrap, getbootstrap.com. Inside Getting Started tab, Let's just copy this bootstrap CDN, paste it in the head section, one thing I would like to do is just add HTTP column before this links, as they are missing this HTTP column. Now, one more thing I would like you to do is inside CSS, copy this meta tag and paste it again in your head section. Just this means at the initial stage we are saying our web page to behave responsive. Now, let's have a div. With a class of container, a pre inbuilt class in Bootstrap. Now, inside this container, let's have our table. Inside table, I want to have a table rows and table heading for the four times. This is just I am using Zen coding to expand my code. Here it is. Very quickly let me have some data inside it. The first heading be row. The second be bill. Third be and the fourth be payment status. Now after this TR, I want to have few more TR. So TR inside it, I want to have few TDs. Stands for table data. I want to have four table data. I want to have all these for the five times. So let me have it for the five times. Just with the help of Zen coding, I'm expanding my code to be fast. So this is what I have. Now, very quickly, let me insert some data inside it. One credit card. The third, let me have payment date to be. Fourth, let me have call to confirm. A second time, let me have two water. Let the payment status be paid. Let 
let the third item be internet change plan let the fourth item be this is just first i am creating basic table Let the payment status be due this time. So this is just I have created a basic table using TR and TDs. Now let me preview this to you. This is how we have right now, but we will be sorted in a moment. Just after applying my class table to this table. A pre inbuilt class in Bootstrap, everything will be sorted. So let's have a table class table. Now let's save it up and let's reload. So now everything is sorted. This is a very basic table we have. Now let's make this table more beautiful by applying few more classes to it the second class let's have it table striped let's save it up let's reload see now we have a stripe on every alternate row now let's add more classes to it Let's have a table border this time. So that will give a border to our table. Let's reload. See now we have a border along with our table in each and every cell. Let's have one more interesting class table dash hover. Let's save it up. Let's reload. See now when I will hover the color of row changes. Let's have a class now to table condensed. Now this condensed class will make our table compact by cutting cell padding in half. Let's save it up. Let's reload. See. The excess of padding has been cutted off from the half. Now let's add a class responsive to make this table responsive. Table dash responsive. Let's save it up. Let's reload. Now let me collapse my browser window. See now this table is behaving responsive as we have added a class responsive to it. But the time will come when we will have a scrolling bar. See. Till the limit it is behaving responsive. Now let's have a look on some contextual classes related to this table. For that let me remove this table striped for now. And to every row, let me add a few classes. To the second row, let me have the class to be active. Let's save it up. Let's reload. See the first one is active now. The color of first row is different from the rest of all. Now to the Next row, let me add a class 
as this is an information about water bill which is paid. So let me add a class success to it. This task is successfully done. So let's have a class success. Let's reload. See the success color gives us a green color. It shows this is successfully done. Now the third class I would like to have is for the next row. Let me have a class. This is something information related to internet for the change of plan. So let's have a class info. Let's save it up. Let's reload. See the info class gives us a blue color. And let's have another class to the another row. This is something pending for us. Facility bill is pending. So let's have a class of warning for it. So let's save it up and let's reload. See this warning gives us orange color. When I will hover on it, it is much clearly seen. It's an orange color. As hover class is applied to our table, so they are changing their color on the hover, getting more darker. Now, let's add a class to our another row. Class. It's a telephone bill which is due. So let's have a class of danger to it. Now this danger gives us red color. Let's reload. See. So this is a danger class has been applied to our fifth item. So these are the few classes which you can apply to your rows to make your table colorful. Now. Let's wrap our table in the div panel. As I have told you, I will show you how to create a panel. And wrapping this table inside a panel will give more depth to our table. So, now inside container, let's have a class of panel. Div with a class of panel. First, let's have a class of primary for the panel. So, again, let me have a class panel dash primary. Or let's have a default first. So, panel default. Let me close this div for panel. Now let's give a heading to this panel. Let me have another div with a class of panel heading. Let the heading be things to do. Let me close this div for the heading. Uh, let's reload our page. So this is a very basic panel we have. As the class we have given is default. We can change the color of this panel by adding few more classes to it. The classes are again the same. Warning, success, danger, primary. So instead of default let me have primary this time let's reload see this primary gives us blue color
let's have class danger this time let's save it up let's reload see this danger gives us red color now let's have a class to be panel info let's see how it reacts panel dash info let's save it up and let's reload this gives us light blue shade as we have in the row third so this is how you can create beautiful tables with the help of this bootstrap one more thing i would like you to know if you want to learn this thing in more details maybe there are some things i have not covered in this tutorial you can go to official website getbootstrap.com inside css tab inside tables you can have more details the major things is which we have covered and to learn more about panels you can go to components here you will find panels so inside panels you can learn more about panels see these are the classes which we have applied so this is done friends and if you like this video of mine please do thumbs it up do share it and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me do not forget to subscribe me have a good day bye bye